What's up everyone? How are you doing? Hope you're all well. The newest gift giving session. This session is called, Who's the Real Hero? You know, when we're giving, the question is, is what I'm giving, is it that I'm giving because it's good for me? Or am I focused on that I'm giving because it's good for them? What I mean. Let me explain. You know, it, it's incredible to be able to give. When you give, you feel like a superhero. You really feel like, wow, I'm here and I'm helping all those people and I'm saving all those people. In fact, not only like a superhero, you feel like a god. And there's a reason why. Because in a certain sense, you are like God when you actually give. Because when it comes to Hashem, he gives and gives and doesn't need anything in return. God doesn't need anything. So what does God do? He gives. And therefore, when you have the power to be able to give to someone else, in a certain extent, you're like God in the sense that you give. And it's such a great, incredible ego feeling. Oh, I am a giver. I'm incredible, I'm amazing. You should know you really are. You really are incredible when you're giving. And you should feel like a superhero. And it's great to be able to give. And you know, so many people, we have people coming to our packathons where we start packing up food and people feel like a hero which is true. And they do feel great because they are there helping other people. But there's possibly, there is possibly a little danger in that. It's great to feel like a hero, but sometimes you want to ask, am I doing it because I actually care about the people whom I'm helping? Or is there a danger that I'm so focused on me feeling like a hero? The other people, I don't really, it's not really about them. They're just a means to make me feel great. I want to feel great and I, I, I need someone to give to. So can you be the person who I can give to that I can feel great? Watch this video and you'll, you'll, you'll see clearly what I mean. SD card. Good afternoon. My name is Russell. And I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54, Sweat Lodge 12. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. I could help you cross the street. No. I could help you cross your yard. No. I could help you cross your porch. No. Well, I gotta help you cross something. Uh, no, I'm doing fine. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Russell, can, can, and I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54. Slow down. Sweat Lodge 12. Kid! Are you in need of Thank any you, but I don't need any help. Ow. Proceed. Good afternoon. Let's skip to the end. See these? These are my wilderness explorer badges. You may notice one is missing. It's my assisting the elderly badge. If I get it, I will become a senior wilderness explorer. The wilderness must be explored! Go, go! It's gonna be great. There's a big ceremony, and all the dads come, and they pin on our badges. So, you want to assist an old person? Yep. Then I'll be a senior wilderness explorer. You ever heard of a snipe? Snipe? Bird. Beady eyes. Every night it sneaks in my yard and gobbles my poor assailants. I'm elderly and infirm. I can't catch it. If only someone could help me. Me, me! I'll do it! Oh, I don't know. It's awfully crafty. You'd have to clap your hands three times to lure it in. I'll find them, Mr. Fredrickson! I think it's Burroughs two blocks down. If you two go blocks down, got it! You get the idea. And when it came to the kids, he, he he didn't really want to help the old man. It wasn't about helping the old man. It's about, I want that badge. I want that feeling that, you know, that now I become a, a senior um, scout, whatever that thing was. It's, it's not that he's just using the old man for his superhero status. That... I think we have to possibly be concerned about. You know, some people when um, when they volunteer, or people when they, they, they say, you know, 
I'm all doing all this stuff, you know, we're volunteering with gifts, but I want to see the people that we're helping. I want to be able to get to see their faces. Now, I can understand where they're coming, but you've also got to be careful. It's almost this feeling of that, no, I will only get to feel like a superhero if I get to get this thanks. And then I will go to this person and say, no, just doing my job. It's, it's, it's I want, I want someone to say thank you, because then I get that feeling. It's almost like, you know, Superman, that feeling when Superman saves someone, that everyone, the crowds cheer, and it's like, <laughs> just doing my job. Like, a bit like this. of you know <laughs> being the savior but you know what not everybody actually wants to be a damsel in distress not everybody wants to be the oh we love you we love you it's to feel what would you rather be would you rather be the one who is um the damsel the one is help me help me or the one who is being able to save other people this feeling of super superhero-ness this is what the danger is uh, to give you an analogy, which um, I heard with my why why he gave this, <laughs> this horrible analogy. Now I'm about to say this is not true. Okay, it's a horrible analogy. It's not true. But this feeling again of why are you doing this? Are you doing this because you care about the person, or are you doing this because of what it gives you? So again, this didn't happen. But imagine the scenario: there's this poor man, and he goes knocking on a door. He goes to this rich person's house. He says, "Please, can you help me? I, I have nothing. I, I need your help." And the man says, oh, I'm busy, come, go back another, come back another day. He says, please, I, I'm starving, I've got no food. He says, oh, I don't have time for you. And he says, please, anything. And the rich man says to his wife, he says, you know that fish you're about to chuck out? What, the weak old fish? Yeah. I'll oh, just give it to him. Yeah, come in, come in. And he gives the, he gives the guy, he gives this poor man this, this disgusting, smelly fish. The poor man, he's got nothing else to eat, so he takes a bite in it. Oh, he starts choking, he starts feeling ill, he says, please, call an ambulance! And the guy says, call an ambulance! <gasps> There's a mitzvah of saving someone's life! He calls Hatsala, they bring the ambulance, <sighs> take him to the hospital. He's in the hospital, he's not feeling well at all. And the rich man says, I can do the mitzvah of of Bikr Choylem, I can do the mitzvah now of, of, of visiting the sick. And he comes and the rich man says, here, I bought you a bunch of flowers. And the rich man's thinking, oh, that's such a great job. Unfortunately, the, um, the poor man dies that day. And then the rich man says, hey, hey, I can now do the mitzvah of going to a leviah, going to a funeral. And of course, after that, you've got the, the poor man's family and he goes to the um, he goes to the shiva, he goes to the house of mourning, and when the rich man goes home, <laughs> he's Mr. Happy. He is so excited. His wife came home, he's like, wow, what a busy day. Like, but why are you so happy? Why am I happy? What do you mean, why am I happy? This day has been unbelievable. What have I done today? I've invited guests, I've visited the sick, I've attended a funeral, I've visited a house of mourning. Oh, this day is unbelievable. I've done so many mitzvahs. To which response to that is, oh, come on, come on, totally, totally missed the point entirely, entirely. He had no care for whatsoever for this poor man. It was just a means of, oh, how many mitzvahs can I do? How can I feel like a superhero? To show you this video clip, which is an extreme of this, and nobody is as much as this. It's, it's but uh, th th what the point I'm trying to say, I'll show you another video of getting down to this point of how when you're helping, it's not you don't care about the other person. It's all about me, 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 me. How can I be a better person? Oh, well, you seem awfully concerned with yourself. You 
You might want to start thinking about the needs of others. I think about others all the time. What, what I can get from them. Do they have a silly little walk that I can make fun of? No, that, 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 that's, it's where you actually care about somebody else. <laughs> Whoa. Are you choking? You're choking. Okay. Uh, what are you, biking and eating? All right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Come on. Live. Let's oh. Live, my yeah. yeah. Thank you. You saved my life. You saved my life. You saved my life. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Dude. Exactly what I needed. Oh my god. Just rejoice in song. Shema Yisrael. Oh, you know, that's a great idea. I'm gonna call 911. I hope you don't have a dance recital later. I'm just kidding. Don't look at your life. There he is, alive and well. Mazel. I brought you these. How's my brave little soldier doing, huh? Not great. They said that I'm never going to be able to ride a bike again, so that was my job. For sure. Do you think that I'm a good person? Uh, I don't really know you. Like, well, what more do you need to know? I mean, if not for me, you probably would have died today. Yeah, somebody probably would have come along. Just say that I'm a good person. Well, I mean... Why is that so hard for you to say? Ow! I'm sorry. I'm you're, so sorry. You're a good person. I am? You really think so? Very good. Thank you for saying that. Yes. That really means... It means a lot. <laughs> I finally feel like I can breathe again. Yeah. Eigenwald. Totally, totally me, 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 selfish, uh, saving someone's life. Oh, that's just what I needed. You know, I, I oh, total extreme. Um, we got to be careful about that. No one's going to do it that much, but we have to be careful that when we're volunteering and when we're giving, we're not just using the other person as a means of making me feel great, but actually that I care about the other person. Which leads me on to this clip, which someone showed me, which really bothered me. But maybe it doesn't bother you. And I'm not so sure, but I want to know what your opinion is. There was a YouTuber, a very famous YouTuber, and he, he went around giving money to homeless people to get able to get millions of view, views, millions of views. And here he is, he's money, you know, I have all the money, start giving out all the money. And just watch this clip and be specific at the end what he says at the end, okay? My question is this, are you, do you feel uncomfortable with this video or no, there's nothing wrong with it at all? I wanna know what you think about it. Here we go. Hey, how are you doing? No, not much. I'm a YouTuber, and uh, I was just, I mean, you can see the camera. How are you? What's your situation? Um, uh, I got no legs. My arm's messed up. Ah, uh, doesn't trying sound... To, trying to support a family. Oh, really? Do you have kids or something? I got two kids. I got a, a girl that's uh, 15, and my little boy is 7. Oh, well, um, I... Uh, what are you up to doing with the camera? I'm a YouTuber. I'm going around giving random people who need a thousand dollars. So, thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah. That that's real. I swear, man. So uh, I just wanted uh, to do some good. All right. Well then. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, man. Man, y'all are all. Most people get mad and say this is a bad way to get views. Tell them like you're okay with this. Are, are oh, you yeah. okay with it? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Best, YouTube. best day of my life, right yeah. here. Homeless people don't care if I use them for views. <laughs> See the sign? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> that's right. Homeless people don't care if I use them for views. If I use them for views. Homeless people don't care if I use them for views. Do you think he cares? Do you think he cares about his legs and his busted arm? Do you think when he asks him, you know, what, how many kids you have, do you think he cares? Or like, let's get this quickly for YouTube. I wanted to, you got that? Please listen to that. Okay, now let's give the money. Maybe I'm being extreme. Maybe I'm just being negative. Maybe the fact is, who cares? The fact is he gets the money, so it's not a problem. You could say that's bad and it's good. He gets the money, but it's also bad how he's just being used. Or maybe you say it's not being used at all. Hmm. I think it's clear what I think about it, but doesn't mean you have to agree. 
What do you think about it? Hmm. So we're going to pause on this session now where we looked at, am I giving because it's good for me, because I want to be the superhero, or am I giving because it's good for them? Stay tuned for part two, where we're going to look at who is the real hero. Looking forward to seeing you on the next adventure.